Hello and welcome to Sort Pivot by Reports. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I recently received a question about how to sort a pivot style formula-based report descending by amount. And I'm gonna answer that in this video. Exercise one. In this exercise, I'm gonna use a pivot table to demonstrate the kind of report we're looking for. So let's summarize this table data by going to insert pivot table. We wanna create the report in an existing worksheet. We pick a cell and we click OK. Now we're going to use the rep ID field in the rows layout area and we're going to use the amount field in the values layout area. And this is the format for the report that we want to build. But we want to build it by writing a single formula. Can we do that? Yes. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. In this exercise, we want to reproduce this pivot table with a formula based report equals pivot by. Now, if you recall, rep ID was our rows field. We don't have a columns field. Amount is our values field, and we want to use sum. Close function and enter. <laughs> and just like that, we've reproduced this pivot table with a single formula. And with that background out of the way, now it's time to answer the question. How do you sort this descending by dollar? We'll tackle that in the next exercise. Exercise three. Now, if we wanted to sort a pivot table descending by amount, there's a couple of ways to do it. For example, we could use this dropdown, select more sort options, descending, sum of amount, and click OK. But now we want to learn how to do this with our pivot by function equals pivot by. Rep ID is the rows field. We don't have a columns field. Amount is the values field. We want to use the sum function. We don't have any field headers. We don't need to worry about row total depth. And the next argument is called row sort order. Now here's the way that works. If we type in the number one, it's going to sort it by the first column. If we type in a number two, it's going to sort it by the second column and so on. So how do we sort descending? Well, for that, we use a negative number. Minus one will sort descending by the first column. Minus two will sort descending by the second column. And that's exactly what we want here. Close function and enter. <laughs> there we've got it. So that's how we can use the pivot by function to reproduce a pivot table. And we can even control the sort order by using the row sort order argument. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 